Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard and today I'm going to be showing you my Murakumo deck. Yes, I decided to build Murakumo because the deck is good. That's my only reason why. So this deck is tier one and uh, yeah, and I'm going to show you guys why. This deck is astoundingly amazing for the standard format and it does so many interactive and fun things and I'm enjoying it a lot. So our starter is Stealth Beast Cat Devil. So Cat Devils are, you know, standard starter with a on-ride draw, just like every other starter. So I'm going to start off with the grade threes. So we're running four copies of Dueling Dragon Zambaku. So Zambaku was a great card from the get-go. This deck was really cheap in the beginning, even though it was meta, or quote-unquote anti-meta. Um, this deck stopped Imperial Daughter, it stopped Dragonic Waterfall, and it's still stopping a bunch of stuff. Um, the only thing that can pretty much go well against this card is uh, Raven Herazel, because it can ride from a skill and not from him. So Zambaku's skill is, once per turn, you count bust one, you soul bust one, act. Search your deck for up to one card with a rester in its name, so left or right. Call it to rear, and uh, this gets 5k. Then, after that, uh, if you have left arrestor and right arrestor on your rearguard circles, your opponent cannot ride a grade 3 or greater during their ride phase. So they're stuck on whatever grade 3 they're on, and that's really important because in standard you want to get gifts over and over again, especially protect clans. So um, you know, you're stopping your opponent from getting those gifts over and over. You're stopping... Um, specifically, it's... Um, what's it called? Metatron. Metatron is the card that you're going to be stopping a lot. Wait, if you're playing against Angel Feather, so they can't do that recovery over and over. Um, you're stopping Royal Paladin from riding all their key targets, so they're stopping Monarch, stopping Escapate. Really, really, really good card. So the fact that it gets 5k just for calling a card, and the cost isn't even that, like, much. So, card's fantastic. Uh, next up is two copies of Dueling Dragon King Zangeki. Only running two copies. Uh, this is basically the cross ride, I guess you can call it that in standard. So his effect is continuous. If you have less left arrestor in your front row, he gets 5k. If you have right arrestor in your front row, he gets a crit. And that 5k happens during your opponent's turn. That's what you know continuous means. As you probably all knew. And then his other skill is if you have a dueling dragon in its soul, your opponent can only call grade zeros from their hand to the guardian circle. So if you have another Zengeki in your soul, or if you have Zambaku in your soul, and you're on Zengeki, uh, your opponent, for the entire turn, your opponent can only guard with zeros. That's really, really good for a guard restrict. So, abuse that as much as you want. So, and the fact that, you know, this gets a crit and 5k, it just defensively and offensively is such a good card. We're only running two just for the the space, and you want to be sure to ride Zambaku first. If you ride Zengeki first, you're not really doing anything with the deck, so there's no point in, in riding it right away. It's better to just save it for when you're pushing and when you know you have a better control of the game. Uh, so yeah, most people are running two, and two is a good way to go. So here's why this deck is fun. We're running four copies of Fantasy Petal Storm Sherry Yuki. This card is godly. Its skills are fantastic and I love it. It's when it's placed on Van, Rear, or Guardian Circle, you Soul Blast 2. Choose three of your opponent's units in the front row and they get minus five until the end of the turn. If it's on Van or Guardian Circle, it's minus ten instead of minus five. So during your opponent's turn, and they are beginning their battle phase and they attack, you just guard with it, and you pick three units, soul blast two, they get minus ten. That's just so funny. I love it so much. And it, it's so good. I love this card. His, uh, her other skill is when she's on the vanguard circle, if her attack misses when you swing, you choose a copy of itself from the drop zone and add it back to your hand. This deck has so much recycling when it revolves around this card. It's so good. So, y'all know Shiryu could be good. So let's get into more reasons why Shiryu could be good. 
We're obviously running four copies of Jakatsugu Girl. So Stealth Fiend Jakatsugu Girl's skill is Rearguard Circle Shadow Stitch. It doesn't say Shadow Stitch, but basically what it is, is when this attacks and it doesn't hit, does not hit, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, search your deck for up to a copy of Shiryuki, uh, two copies actually, you search for up to two, one goes to hand, the other one goes to drop zone. If you could not reveal any cards from the top seven with Shiryuki in the name, you soul charge. Uh, and it also says in like gray parentheses that if you only see one Shiryuki, it goes to your hand. So one goes to hand, one goes to drop if you see two. This is also really good because even if you miss, you're getting a soul. And what can you use that soul for? Ta-da! Zambaku! So now you're using up all that soul and you're helping gain soul for Shiryuki skill as well. So Jakatsu Girl is one of the most important resource generators of this deck and it's basically free. You either get Shiryuki or you get a soul. For what cost? Nothing. You didn't even have to hit. It's like you're just going to throw it down on your rearguard circle, purposely poke at the vanguard that won't hit just to get the effect off. It's like Shadow Stitch that's actually good for once. <laughs> Sorry, um, Murakumo G era players. Um, next up, four copies of Left Arrester. We're basically running both arresters, so might as well run max of each. So Left Arrester's skill, this is the better one, obviously. <laughs> um, when this attacks your opponent's vanguard, if you have a rearguard with arrester in its name, you soul blast one, it gets 5k. 5k for a soul blast on attack. That's pretty decent. Uh, you get a lot of soul for thanks to Jakatsu Girl as well, so that's not too bad of an issue. And that extra 5k could help you push for game, especially if you got Guard Restrict from Zangeki, and, you know, it's pushing numbers. Pretty good stuff there. And, of course, since we're running five, four, sorry, I was about to say five, four copies of Left Arrester, running four copies of Right Arrester. So Right Arrester skill, this is the skill that prevents your opponent from standing. So, uh, Right Arrester skill is when this is placed, if your vanguard is Dueling Dragon Zambaku, uh, and you have another rear guard with a Rester in its card name, you counterblast two, and you put a card from your hand into the soul. So, more resource gaining. I mean, yeah, you lose a card from your hand, but that's more to the soul. Your opponent's vanguard cannot stand during the stand phase, so you just lock them out of standing. Um, yes, Raven Hera gets over that, uh, if they're on Blonde Ezel, but every other deck, that's a pretty big deal. Oh, Zerakiel, I guess, too, because they can, you know, superior right from the damage zone. But most decks have a big issue with, you know, not being able to do their drive checks. So, yeah, you want to be able to do those right arrester skill because it's good. All right, let's get into more resource gaining. We're running four copies of Stealth Fiend Rady Madame. Madame? Malady? <laughs> um, I should kill myself. Um, auto on rear guard circle. Uh, when this unit attack, when your unit, not this unit, very, very important, when your unit's attack does not hit, you put this into the soul, more soul resources, and you go into your drop zone and look for a copy of Shiryuki and put it in your hand. So this card gets you both soul and a Shiryuki, and it's not, it doesn't have to be when this card's attack hits. It can be when your unit, so it can be itself, or you can combo it off with Jakatsu Girl. So you're just getting way more resources thanks to Madame. This deck's so fun. Four copies of Million Rat. Million Rat is basically your Neo Nectar card, clone a, clone a card, card. You got Act. If you do not have another copy of Million Rat on your board, count plus one. Search for a Million Rat, a call to rear, and it gets minus four. So you just throw this down, counter blast, deck thin, call another one out, gets minus four K. Throw in an Excel circle. It's a 14K beat stick. It's pretty good. Deck thin is really good. Uh, you definitely want to run Million Rat. Next up, I'm running two copies of uh, Reiko Slug. I don't like running that fox that searches for arresters because you use up the soul for its cost, and if you don't see the arrester, you just basically minus yourself a soul. And for the most part, you can either draw into your arresters or you search them out with Zambaku. So 
I think it's better just to run this. So this uh, slugs effect is at the end of the battle that it boosts. You put the other unit that you boosted, or another unit in the same column, basically the thing it boosted, you put it onto the bottom of your deck and two of your front row units get 5k. So you're basically going to be giving the 5k to your two front row Excel circles. Um, and that's just to help you push for numbers and push for game. Uh, you can put back things you boost, you can put it back into the deck that you don't want to get hit. Maybe your Jakatsuki girl, if you're like, oh cool, I really don't want this to get hit and I just want to proc off the effect. You can put an, a, the million rat that you called in front of it, put it back into the deck for the next turn. You just, you just got so much advantage that you can work with and the plus 5k can really help push for game. Especially you if you are on that Zangeki. Last but not least, one copy of the promo, Cornered Stealth Rogue, Benajishi. This is the first time I think I've ever read his full name. I always just called him the promo. So this card is pretty good. I'm only running it at one because I don't really see myself using his effect that often. It's kind of a weird effect, but it's still pretty good. It's when your opponent's sentinels placed during the battle, your vanguard is attacked. Your vanguard attacked. So it only works when your vanguard is attacking and your opponent places a sentinel during that battle. This is the only time that card activates. Um, your opponent will usually place a sentinel when you're on, you know, Zangeki, since they can only guard with grade zeros. So from him, um, that's another thing I just want to bring up. Zangeki stops protect gifts, which is really funny. <laughs> Anyways, so you swing with Zangeki, they put down a grade zero PG. You activate the effect of Benjishi. You choose a normal unit from your drop zone, put it back to the bottom of your deck, and then you search your deck for a copy of a, of a unit with the same name as your Vanguard, and then call it to a rearguard circle. So in the middle of the battle, you're swinging with your Vanguard, doing the skill of, of Benjishi, and then you call another either Zangeki, or if you're on Zambaku, call another Zambaku. That's another unit for you to attack with that you just call out from the deck. Sure, you put a normal unit back in, you know, so you're not really trigger thinning, but you just got another attacker basically for free just because your opponent is trying to defend them. Your opponent's trying to play the game and you just get resources. It's just so good. So I uh, only run one just because, like, you're not going to use it multiple times. So, I mean, you could run two copies if you have two. Your opponent puts down a sentinel, you put two normal units in, call two more rear guards, but you know you had to like poke and poke and then poke with your van. It could happen, but I just have the one copy and I'm really liking it, so I'm sticking with that one. So next up we are running for triggers four copies of Moon Edge and then two copies of a Dragon Skateboard Knife Rider. Uh, Stealth Dragon Zomba Rider. So it is six crit, which means that we are running six draws. So we're running four copies of Leaves Mirage, the PG, and then the two copies of Cat Rogue, Stealth Beast Garcat. Uh, anyways, I decided to do, uh, the deck did come with six draw, six crit, uh, but I do like it, so I stuck with it uh, when I picked it up, so the reason I do like to do the six draws is because a lot of the things in this deck, when you're playing, you're looking for stuff. Like, you're looking for your Jakatsu Girl, you're looking for your Zambakus, you're looking for your Zengeki. You're trying to draw into this stuff sometimes. So when you see draw triggers, you're just hoping you draw cards to go and find your stuff and go through your deck faster. So, and you know, draw triggers are always decent. Um, the 5k shield is also not that big of a deal since... If you're guarding with Shiryuki and everything, it's minus 10. Sometimes just a 5k block is enough. So, you know, work with the those draw triggers. Take advantage of that negative shield, your negative power your opponent's getting. Last but not least, uh, four copies of the heal trigger. Um, yeah, you know, healing is cool. That's um, That's pretty much it, you know. Get yourself some Excel markers in there too for your Excel deck. So the way this deck, you know, is supposed to go, supposed to be on Zambaku, 
You know, you call out left arrestor from hand, you use Mbaku skill to call out right arrestor, you kind of lost the, the remaining two, your opponent can't ride, blah blah blah. Rides in Geki, your opponent can't do stuff, you have both of the arresters out, so you're, you get up both skills. And in the meantime, while your opponent's attacking you, you're just guarding with Shiryuki over and over and over again, and you're using Jakatsuka Girl and Matame to find those Shiryukis over and over again. So the deck has this like loop of like consistency, which is why I think the deck is not broken. So yes, the deck is not broken. Why? Because consistent. So there you have it, Vanguard players. Consistency is good in card games. Should other decks be consistent like this? Yes, that'd be very cool, especially for a game that punishes you for not finding the right target that you need, even though like your deck has the correct ratios of units per grade. So I like this deck because it gives you the resources you need because that's the way the deck is built and it's consistent. So there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed my deck profile. Hope you all enjoy being meta. And for for how well the deck does, I'm surprised it's as cheap it is it is. Because these this deck runs six VR and two of them are eight bucks. This card used to be really cheap and then people realized the deck was good and it jumped to like 20. You could either play this or you can play Shadow Paladin, which is way more than $150 probably. So pick up, if you want something that's cheaper and you want something better, go for the Murakumo deck. It is really fun and I'm having a great time with this deck. So thank you all very much. Have a good night.